Hey friends, this is Nancy with a special invitation that you and your family check out the Clubhouse. The Clubhouse is a community for Catholic kids. We offer incredible live events each month where we craft, we pray, we learn about virtues with Sir Roland, and we talk to a real life religious order. It's an incredible experience. I just love being on these calls, meeting you, and growing in the faith with you. So if you'd like to check it out, just check the notes for this podcast episode. Each week we have a different live event, and I'll be thrilled to see you there. Okay, here's today's episode. You're listening to Catholic Sprout, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, June 10th, 2024. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are going to be discussing the works of mercy. Now, the works of mercy are the theme that we have chosen for our virtual vacation Bible school, which is taking place next week. I hope you plan to join us. And so we're going to use this week of the podcast to warm up, to remind ourselves of the works of mercy, the important role in the lives of all Christians. But before we dive into that, please join me in our June prayer, the prayer to the sacred heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O most holy heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessing on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. So the works of mercy. Now, maybe you don't know what the works of mercy are. Well, that's a great place to start. What are the works of mercy? Well, to understand this, we need to go to the Gospel of Matthew, flip forward to the 25th chapter. Now, in this chapter, Jesus is talking about judgment. He is talking about himself sitting in the throne of judgment, all the nations of the world coming to him and being judged. He divides them into two groups, one that will enjoy the reward and come into his father's house and another that will not. And he he tells us exactly how he is judging. He says, when you saw me hungry, when you saw me thirsty or naked or sick, When you saw me in those situations, you helped me. You gave me food or drink or clothing or medicine, right? Now, in the gospel passage, the people being judged, they say, Lord, when, when did I see you hungry or thirsty or naked? You know, I don't recall ever seeing you in these situations. And Jesus says, when you did it for the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it for me. You did it for me. And then he turns to the people that will not enjoy the eternal reward of heaven. And he said, when you saw people in these situations, you refused to help them. You were refusing to help me. And so St. Mother Teresa, if you can believe it, she was once a young girl. She was once a child and her mother was a very holy woman. And her mother helped her understand the entire gospel message in five words. And those five words are, you did it for me. You did it for me. 
And so hopefully you very much want to get into heaven. I know I do. But these words also unlock how we get into heaven. Not only do we need to be generous and kind and see the needs of other people, but even beyond that, we need to see Jesus in our brothers and sisters, in the poor people that we see begging on the side of the street, in the people on the other side of the world that are hungry and suffering. We need to see Jesus in these people and be aware that when we choose to serve them and love them, that we are serving and loving Jesus. St. Mother Teresa explained it this way, that we need to see Jesus in the distressing disguise of the poor. Now, many saints throughout history have realized that we become holy when we serve the poor. And one of my favorite stories actually is from St. Martin of Tours. St. Martin of Tours lived way back, back in the days of the early church. He was in the Roman army before the Roman Empire fell. And one day he was riding through the city of Rome with a couple of companions. They were on horses. They wore these very warm cloaks because it was a chilly day in Rome. And as they rode by, they noticed a poor beggar who had just a thin cloth and was shivering and sick. Now his companions saw this poor man and they looked the other way and rode past him, but St. Martin did not. Instead, he stopped. He took his sword out and cut his heavy cloak in half so that he could get half to this poor man shivering at the gate. That night he had a dream, and in that dream, Jesus appeared to him as this poor beggar, still wearing the half of the cloak that St. Martin had given him. And St. Martin at the time was only just learning about Christianity. After this, he, of course, gave his life totally to Jesus, left the life of an army, of an army man, became a hermit, and eventually a bishop years later. But so that is the challenge for us as we investigate the works of mercy, that we realize that Christ is present in other people and that it is our duty to serve them and also our privilege to serve them. Because when we serve them, we are actually serving Jesus Christ. And so my friends, my challenge for you today is to just become more aware of the needs of other people. If someone says they are thirsty, get them some water. If someone says they are cold, offer to give them your sweater. Let's just open our ears up to the needs of other people. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing, this coming week, we are hosting a virtual vacation Bible school. I hope you're planning to join us. Our topic is the works of mercy. And we aren't only talking about the works of mercy, we are actually doing things. I hope if you can't come to vacation Bible school, you at least help us build an orphanage in Uganda for real. Check the notes for this podcast episode to learn how we're doing this, how we're partnering with the Diocese of La Crosse, Wisconsin to make this happen, and how you can be a part of this very, very important work. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.